Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm very glad to have the opportunity to introduce our recent work on uh, experimental experiment on the local steering of bomb trajectory. I'm traveling from USTC, KLAB uh, of quantum information. This experiment is carried out together with uh, Professor Jin Xu, Ya Xiao, and also uh, Professor Guo. Bowman mechanics is the most famous and the best developed uh, hidden variable theory for quantum physics. It postulates the existence of both quantum wave, which corresponds to the usual quantum wave, wave function, and a particle whose motion is guided by the wave. The exact position of these particles are the additional hidden variables compared to the usual quantum phys physical description. Uh, this is the uh, one particle Schrodinger equation. Uh, by plugging in the complex <coughs> wave function per side into the Schrodinger equation, we can derive two new equations for the real variables. The continuity equation for the probability density R and the equation for S. Now we can uh, obtain the quantum mechanical potential and uh, also the Bohmian velocity and uh, the booming trajectory for the particle. We are just showing uh, this. Due to the restriction of uncertainty principle, it's impossible to precisely observe the, the trajectory of an individual booming particle. However, according to the work of Harvard Weizmann in the year of 2007, and the velocity field for an ensemble of Bohmian particles can be experimentally observed in a direct and intuitive way using the concept of recommitment. This method involves recommitment on the momentum and the strong measurement on the position. Then in the year 2011, the average trajectories of single photons in a two-slit interference were demonstrated. Now, I explain the details of the concept of recommitment. According to the pioneering work of Agassinov, Albert, and Wiedemann, <coughs> a recommitment process can be divided into three steps. First, the pre-section of initial state, and uh, then the weak coupling of quantum system and the measurement apparatus. Last, the push selection of the interested states ensemble. Then we get the weak value like this. When we set the initial state and the final state as this, then we can get the moment, momentum of the particle. We can obtain the Bohmian velocity for photons as this form, where Kx, where Kx is the relative transverse momentum. C is the speed of light, and K is the magnitude of the momentum. In experiment, we can introduce weak coupling between the transverse momentum and the polarization state of photons, as shown in uh, this equation. And this is, and uh, Kasai is a dimension, dimensionless coupling strength. If we can obtain the relative phase between H and V, and uh, also if we can measure the coupling strength, then we can get the relative transverse momentum Kx, and then get the Bohmian velocity for photons according to these equations. In order to obtain the relative phase, information, we project the polarization of the photon to the right and the left circular polarization. After measuring the intensity of I and L, uh, that is II and uh, IL, we can get the relative phase by calculating this arcsine function. Then we have the relative transverse momentum Kx, 
and also the Brownian velocity for photons. Here, Kasai depends on the specific parameters of the weak measurement <coughs> apparatus. It can be measured in our experiment. For Brownian trajectories, suppose we find the particle at position x0, c0, and with CCD camera, and we get Brownian velocity v0 at least position with weak measurement. Then we can get the next position of the photon x1, c1, just by simple, simple calculation according to this equation. And so on, we can get the Brownian trajectories. The proposal to observe the no locality of Brownian trajectories with entangled photons were presented in this PR paper in the year 2013 by Riverman and uh, Simon. This proposal was experimentally <coughs> demonstrated last year by Stenberg, uh, last speaker's group. Entangled photo pairs in both state HS plus VV are used in their experiment. They obtained the trajectories of one photon with the other photo projected to this state. <coughs> Recently, the concept of quantum steering received great interest. It originated from the EPR paradox. When Schrodinger revisited the EPR paradox, he proposed two concepts. Uh, entanglement and uh, steering. Steering stands for the ability of one system to affect the state of the other system through the local measurement. In our experiment, <coughs> we demonstrated the steering process in the framework of Bohmian mechanics. We consider a system of two particles with two particles uh, a and B with two additional degrees of freedom, uh, such as spin or polarization. The initial V function of this system A and B uh, is Psi, where QA and QB are the position of particle A and B, respectively. Uh, function F and G are localized V packets at different locations. And the spin the spin of A and B are entangled. This is our initial state. Then we transfer the entanglement by splitting the wave packet of particle B according to its spin. When particle B is spin up, its position is changed to QB plus, plus D. After this operation, we can carry out double slit interference of particle B later. <coughs> now we get the new wave function is this. Note that any phase associated with different component in this equation would not affect the velocity since the entanglement pre prevents them from interference. The measurement on particle A is done by applying a similar operation, this operation, where L is a distance much bigger than the width of GQA, which is used to distinguish the state theta, the theta A and uh, its orthogonal state. Theta A is Alice, is the state Alice choose to put, put project you, to project the state of, uh, of photo A. Now the V function can be written in this equation. This is the setup of our experiment. Uh, there are three parts, the preparation part, and the Alice part, and the Bob part. In the preparation part, a continuous view Lisa with wavelength 404 nanometer is used to pump the PPKTP crystal 
uh, which is located in a cyclonic interferometer. Entangled photon pairs with high quality in, are prepared in this part. Then one of the photon, the two photo output, this is a photon to Alice, and this is the photon to Bob. The photo, one of the photon is sent to Alice for project, projective measurement. This measurement is carried out with a half wave plate, HWP3, and also a polarization beam splitter, PBS2. The signal from the, the signal from a single photon detector, SPAD, is used to trigger uh, ICCD uh, for bubble side. The other photon is sent to a two-slit in the parameter at a bubble side, where the trajectories are reconstructed with weak measurement. The weak measurement is performed by placing a piece of calcit, a piece of calcit, with its optic axis in the XZ plane, oriented at 42 degree with respect to the Z axis. The photon is detected by an ICCD which is triggered by the signal from Alice's side. A C term with three lines, L1, L2, L3, is used to image planes, image the ICCD plane at a different distance just by moving the position of L2. In our experiment, we can tune Z from 1.49 meters to 4.5 meters. This is the quality of our entangled photon state, which is with concurrence uh, 0.975 and the fidelity up to 0 0.981. When we pump with two milliwatt, we get 94,000 entangled photon pairs per second. This is the steered Bohmian trajectories. The result is a vivid demonstration of how Bohmian trajectories of photon B are steered by a measurement down on photon A in a remote location. The dashed line, the dashed line in figure A is one Bohmian trajectory without steering. Uh, and uh, in figure B, it's this one, and figure C is this one. You can see this one, they are just the same trajectory. Then Alice chose to steer Bob's photon at position <coughs> C, C equal 1.492 meter just by tuning L2. And also in next step, we, we choose C equal 2.245 meter and also position at 3.039 meter and uh, the fourth one is 3.749 3 meter. Alice also, choose, Alice also chooses different polarization state of photon A to project, such as uh, he can choose theta. This is the state he chose. He can choose theta equal zero degree, 18.5 uh, 18, 18 degree, and uh, also 31.4 degree, et cetera. We can, we can see that after Alice chose to steer, the trajectory of photon B changed correspondingly. This is without, without steering, and this is with steering. <coughs> and uh, this is different lines is corresponding to different uh, steering uh, strategies. This figure shows the change in velocity of photon B. It shows the velocity differences between the cases in which remote measurement were carried out on photon A and the cases in the measurement were not. 
figure A is corresponding to theta equal 18.5 degree, and uh, figure B with theta equal to 31.4 degree. Uh, let's look at uh, figure B. Figure B is just corresponding to this, this red, red line. The, here is the red one, and this is the red one. We use this, use this line, we get, it, we, we get its velocity and uh, before steering. And uh, use this red one, we get the velocity that, uh, that he at is steering. Then at this point, we get, uh, we get a point here, and uh, we choose different, we choose different Z and uh, different trajectory, we get figure B. Okay, in, in conclusion, we have experimentally demonstrated the local steering of bombing trajectories. The result show a distinct signature of the local nature of bombing mechanics. The phenomenon we observe yields an intuitive picture of the steering, changing the path of a particle from a distance. The Berman trajectory of an unbalanced two-slit interferometer is also observed. Okay, thank you for your attention. <laughs>